Playing post plant, very simple. You just plant the spike, run to a safe spot, wait till you hear the enemy defuse, peek, and easy win. Well, it's not that easy. When it comes to the post plants, there are a lot of small things you could do to increase your chance of winning the round. And that's what we're gonna learn today. How to be the master of the post plant and win every time on the attacker and defender side. The reason I make this video is because I totally got wrecked by one specific trick that not a lot of people know about. So here's the first post plant tip. It's about the retake. When the enemies plant the spike, they often run away to safety. So when you need to retake, a lot of people will tap the spike once and then chill on the spike in the hope that the enemy peeks. Tapping the spike is good because you set the pressure on the enemy and you don't have to run around like a headless chicken searching for them. They have to be you, my friends. But just stepping and waiting on the spike is wrong. This is what you have to do. When you need to defuse, predict where the enemies are. Maybe one of your teammates died and know where the enemy is, or you just know that the enemy is on a common spot. Now, instead of waiting on the spike after you tapped it, take a couple of steps to the opposite side of where you think the enemy is. In this case, I think the enemy is on the left side of Silung, so I take a couple of steps to the right. By doing this, when the enemy is peeking the spike, they will see you first before they see the spike. So their crosshair placement will be wrong and you could go for an easy headshot. This is how it looks like. I almost got no counterplay over here. What the heck? When you slow the clip down, you see even me trying to adjust my crosshair. Maybe next time. That's smart of him. That's very smart of him. If you watch this video, you probably want to improve in Valorant and want to reach the highest possible rank. If that's the case, I know something that will get you the edge over your enemies in every game from now on forward. More tricks about the post plan later, but first, let's talk about the sponsor of this video, Valorant Tracker. They make ranking up and improving your gameplay so much easier. You can do a lot of things with this app, but let's start with the live match data. When you hop into a game, you can see the stats and ranks of all the enemies and your teammates. This way, you can kinda predict for which enemies you need to be careful of. Fellow and Tracker also provides tons of data about the rounds like first kills and entry success rate. And this data you could use to find your weak spot so you know what you can improve in the next game. Pretty handy my friends. Besides just the live match data, you could also see the overall stats of your account. Your accuracy, kill death ratio, put them on the timeline and see if you're still improving. Or take a look at your agent stats, weapon stats, map stats and try to spot your weakness. This is just the tip of the iceberg. You could do a lot more things with this app like recording highlights, find the detailed matches story and guides but i would say try it out yourself with the link in the description it's completely free so why not my friends and now let's continue the video let's go to the next tip this one is about the retake we talked about where you should stand if you fake the spike but when do you stick the spike and when not i'll give you some tips about this the first tip is that when you are with one teammate alive and there's enough time it's almost always better to fake the spike the reason for this is that if you stick the spike your teammate is gonna defend you of course but then if the enemy peeks he got two 1v1 battles and that's not smart of course well if you fake it and the enemy peeks then two guns that a mapping go ta an easy win. The only exception when you really need to stick is when you know the enemy is far away, too far away to get to the spike if your teammate is defending you. Like in this round, the enemy sofa was too far, so it was good that chamber sticked. If I would've died there, Chamber still got the defuse. On the other hand, if you are alive with a lot of teammates, then there's a high chance that there will be a lot of chaos with a lot of smokes and things like that. That's the time to go for a sneaky ninja. And the last thing about sticking, if you're 100% sure that you could at least get the spike till half, do it. In this round, I knew that the enemies were on B long, so I decided to stick the spike till half, then stop to make the kills and then finish the defuse easy round. GG bro. One enemy oh. remaining. Oh, there's no way that I... Oh my god. Now let's talk about the third tip. After planting the spike, running away off the site is not always the best option. This is the strategy that most players are using for the post plant. But when doing this, you have to keep some factors in mind. The most important factor is that you have to look at which agents are still alive. If the enemy still has a smoke or a sage wall, it's not very smart to go off the site. Because of course, when doing this, they could just smoke or use their wall and you won't be able to see the spike anymore. So when there's still enemies with these type of abilities alive, consider making some crossfires on the spot. Crossfires are very effective when holding in the post plant but especially some lower elo players are not really using this so go for it my friends so you could always have that one teammate that goes off the side for backup plan b and the rest stays on it to make some kills like in this round almost the whole team was on spot making crossfires and chamber was our backup on silong There's one exception though, if you're only alive with one teammate or maybe all by yourself, then going off the site even though the enemy has some smokes could be the right decision. The reason for this is that holding the site all by yourself is extremely hard. And then you have better odds by just running away, pinging the spike and hope you can shoot the enemy through the smoke. One enemy remaining. Oh. 
Bonus tip. Did you notice that? When shooting through the smoke, a lot of lower elo players will shoot like this. Don't spray and pray through the smoke. You might only hit the enemy once or twice, but that won't kill them. Instead, go for some burst fires where you think the head of the enemy will be. Easy round for you. Next tip. Lineups. I won't talk about this for long because it's obvious, of course. But if you got post plant lineups, then forget the tip I said before this. Just go off the site and use those lineups. They are very OP, my friends. The only two small tips I could give you about lineups is that if you use your lineup, don't think your molly will just teleport to the spike instantly. Your ability has travel time my friend so make sure to throw your ability in time and the second tip when creating lineups make sure you don't stand too far away from the spike you need to hear the diffuse of course and the ability to peek when your molly is over but post plant lineups are op so use them also last thing when you're retaking a site you kill the last enemy but you still see a molly on the spike don't be afraid to just walk in the molly and start to defuse if it's not necessary of course don't do it but sometimes you don't have a lot of time to defuse the spike so then you have to make the decision next one this might be the most important tip when it comes to the post plant and that is that you have to play around time but how can you be as effective as possible there are some rules of thumbs that you could use to win more rounds the first one is when you are standing far away and you hear the enemy tapping the spike peeking immediately is almost never the right option diffusing the spike takes seven seconds and diffusing to half takes three and a half seconds so what i would recommend is to wait at least four to five seconds then peek at this point you don't even need to make the kill go for a jiggle peek and look if the spike is diffused still half or not if it's not diffused still half just go back wait again till the enemy taps it and then wait again five seconds you waste the enemy's time there's one exception to this though when you are for sure that it's smoked then don't wait five seconds because there's a high chance that the enemies will stick so then immediately just spray through the smoke another tip when it comes to playing around time if the spike is almost about to go off dance around a little bit don't let the enemy see you that's what i did in this round an easy win oh <laughs> peek peek then peek then <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, nice. Oh, easy, easy. And the last tip about playing around time In some rounds the enemies are extremely fast It takes a very long time before the spy goes off And the enemies are pushing you quickly In those cases it might be smart to just peek Like I did in this round I knew one enemy was going on the left And one enemy was going on the right So I peeked on the left side early to go for 1v1 battles One enemy Impostive remaining kill. Hey. If I would have waited over here, then both enemies were pushing me at the same time, and then it was a 2v1. 1v1 is easier. Next tip, understand the spike mechanics. There's an essential spike mechanic you will have to know when you want to plant. When planting, the spike doesn't just appear underneath you. In fact, it goes a little bit to the way where you are looking at. This mechanic is so useful in a lot of situations. An example is over here on Pearl. Often, this part will get walled by Sage, and then you have to plant on the edge of the site. If you plant while aiming towards the site, the spike will get hidden around the corner. That's not very good, my friends. Look. You sadly won't be able to see the spike from long. But if you aim towards B long, then the spike will go towards long. Way easier to hold in the post plant. Sadly, on this spot, the enemy still will be able to defuse around the corner. But now you can at least see if they stick or not. Another example is for when you are planting in a corner. When you are doing this and you face towards the corner, of course, the spike will go in the corner. But if you face the other way towards the side, then the spike goes a little bit outside the corner. This could be a big deal because now when the enemies are defusing the spike, they have more playing room because they can defuse it on the left of the spike, the right of the spike, and then it will be harder to hit them when shooting through a smoke for example just look at the difference and i mean it's not a lot of extra work so make sure you face the right way when planting the spike next tip the planting spots i won't go over this for too long because i discussed it a lot on my channel but when you are planting the spike the default plant spots in this corner on split in this corner on haven over here on fracture it's not always the best plant spot if the site is clear try to plant the spike as much in the open as you can do this way it's easier to hold in the post plant keep in mind though these plant spots are way more dangerous so only plant here if you get covered by your teammates or smokes now let's talk about the post plant tricky i use myself a lot during the games if you watch any of my road to ascendant series you probably know this trick already but the thing you could do after you plant the spike try to flank around and peek from another side you can do this on almost every map on icebox just go towards middle on ascent you could rotate all the way over catwalk towards tree and in haven all the way around towards garage two main reasons why i think this trick is overpowered the first one there's a very low chance that the enemies will expect you over there because often you come from the spot where they are coming from and the second reason is when you do this you immediately watch the flankers a pretty cool trick really recommend to use it so now and then One enemy remaining. and this was the last tip if you like this video feel free to subscribe and i hope i see you guys in the next one peace